Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So, if you didn't watch my last video, at the weekend, at the car boot sale, I picked up this massive job lot of watches here, and I paid £20 total for both these boxes here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go through it and see what we've got in here. We're going to do one box at a time, and we're going to do like part one, part two videos. So this will be part one. And for part one, we're going to focus on this box here. I think a lot of these need new batteries or just spares or repairs. Let's get that box out of here. But the reason I want to focus on this box is when he basically said, oh, you can have them all for 20 quid, he picked out a couple he had in the back of his car as well. And he said, oh, this one's a good one. And it was this one here. And this is the only one I've actually had a good look at and a little look online. Bay Ring or B Ring, I believe it is. It's written in there. Camera, are you going to focus or are you going to be annoying? Uh, not too bad. But yeah, it's an all right brand, this brand. I hadn't heard of it before, but I had a little look online. Brand new, this watch would cost around, you know, £100. Obviously, it's not brand new anymore. And sadly, watch prices decrease quite a bit when they're not brand new. But this watch here should pay for the whole job lot. At least £20 for a quick sale, I'm hoping. Or £30 thereabouts. So, yeah. That's our money back plus a bit more. Oh, sorry, Morgan's over there having a good clean. Morgan, what are you doing? Weird dog. Anyway, back to the watches. This one here is going to pay for the whole lot, so happy days. So let's see what kind of profit we can make off these. Let's jump in and see what we've got. Here we have cotton which i believe is just a cheap primark brand does seem to be working though and i believe that is the correct time so we've got that one there that might be a pound or two sell on let's go for this one next little digital watch i don't think it's the best brand in the world manado down there and it's missing its back so not really worth much that one what else we got Hublet, that's probably that's going to be a fake. It's a nice strap though. Yeah, that's definitely a fake, unfortunately. But yeah, Hublet makes some really fancy, expensive watches, a bit like Rolex, really. But yeah, that's definitely a fake. Not a big fan of selling fakes either. So that'll probably just go into a junk bin. Is that a Citizen Ladies watch there? That's quite a good one. Hopefully, we can get that one working. Is the clasp working? It is. That's ideal. It's quite a nice little watch, this one. If I can get this one working, I think I should get, you know, at least a tenner for it. So there we go. That's a good one to find. What else we've got? This one's looking at me kind of funny. Rosefield, is that? I haven't heard of that brand before. I have to look that one up. Gift aid donation heave tree okay let's have a look at the back oh, they don't look to be too bad you can tell the quality of a watch as well if you look at the back and it's not just made in china written on there so that one i have to have a little bit of investigation there in part when i do a part two the next box so i'll go through what we found in part one and stuff like that uh, just a little lady's watch there. With not, nothing real value on that. It's probably not even worth me putting a battery in. What we got here? Limit. A little lady's watch. Not nothing. Nah, pound or two probably. Uh, sports. Little sports watch with no branding on. Not really worth anything. <laughs> a lot of this is just going to be junk, but there's been some okay stuff so far. I'm not really sure that brand is there. Pia. I have to look it up, but I doubt it's worth much. Let's put that one there. Oh, little Daisy watch there. Loris. Okay brand, but not exactly the most desirable looking watch in the world. Still, maybe a pound or two at the car boot sale if I can get it working. Got here. Kronos. Now, I know there is a brand, Kronos, that make watches, but I'm pretty sure there's no H in it. So it's either a 
knockoff or it's just a different brand completely probably a different brand completely looking at it i'll have to look that one up as well oh, a little seconda watch there what was the tag on it nothing on the tag and it's missing its case back so we'll see on that one but that'll be a good one to do a little spares and repairs pile so that one there oh you're a bit smashed up i wonder what brand you were oh you were loris there we go smashed up one well you can do a little job lot of loris watches if we find a few more i like doing a job lot as well and having the same brand we've got a strap there stretchy little strap i've got a brand written on there we do have a brand written on there is that loris again or is that something else i have to get the magnifying glass out for that take a look you probably see it on the camera i can't make it out though yeah i'll look at that at some point this looks like a big one. Oh, it's another just cheapy one where we got a half decent brand I'm not really sure i imagine it's a cheapy one yeah it looks like a cheapy one by the sticker on the back i have to look it up though a claris cliff watch there that might have a little bit of value oh no kath kidson i think she's she does floral designs and stuff like that so this one might be worth a little bit probably not much maybe a pound or two but it's worth doing some research on another pink one here what we got rosefield again so we got some rosefield watches there second one we found there another weird ladies one here Probably not really worth much. Brand we got here. Is that a half decent looking watch? It's got a little flag on there. I don't think it's really anything. It's got Swiss flag. Uh, Zurich. Lady Zurich watch there. Again, probably not much value. I see watches like this every now and then. I don't think that people really wear them that often. We branded, no, it's even off brand, so that'll go into a junk pile of watches probably. What we got here? I don't see it on the camera any clearer. No, I can't see that. You guys might be able to. I'll look it up though. Oh, unless we've got gift days on again. So a lot of these probably came from charity shops by the looks of it. And we've got John, something John Rocha there. I have to look that up. Interesting strap on it. I haven't seen that kind of design. That's quite cool though. What we've got here, just the watch itself. Next, so not really worth anything. Again, a watch like this, the little, I think it's like a sun and moon watch brand. Timex, an okay brand. Probably not worth a huge amount though, that one. Another funky cheap watch there. Another little bundle of them probably. Getting through this box, it's not terrible, truth be told. There are some okay watches in here, so it's going to be a little bit of money. The majority of this, though, does look like it's just going to go into a spares and repairs pile. Amidus, Am Amidus. Again, this one looks to be working. We've got it on the back there. Amidus. I'll have to look it up, but haven't heard of the brand but still it's a working watch so it's going to be worth a couple of quid at least sell that at the car boot sale do a separate little pool on that one what's this kind of fitbit style watch is it an actual fitbit i don't know no branding on it so i don't think so the charger or no, I'm not really sure on this. Let's have a look. Oh, that's quite interesting. Let me know if this is a Fitbit or anything like that, or you know what the brand is. I imagine it isn't because it would have been branded. I imagine Fitbit somewhere. Is that a USB? I'm not too sure. Well, that's quite interesting. 
and put it back together. Yeah. I can't see any branding on there for anything, so who knows? Well, that's a little interesting one though. Something a bit different. What we got here? Oh, quartz. Just a cheap quartz watch. Yeah, I imagine it is looking at that. Genuine diamond though. We'll have to look up that brand. Doubt it's worth anything though. A couple of quid because it's working, maybe at the car boot sale. Or it'll go into a job lot. What we got here? A Seiko watch. Well, no, it's a Seconda, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little lady Seconda watch, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, a little lady Seconda watch. Might be worth putting a battery in that one. What we got here? Well, this one working by the looks of it as well. Brand, Claire's, not really worth anything then. A bracelet, that's interesting. Let's have a look, I doubt it's silver, but you never know. Be a nice little bonus if it was. Got some watch pin, there, there. I can't see anything. I will run the eyeglass over it at some point, though. That, though, that's probably 50p a pound, something like that. So not, unless it is silver, then it's worth a little bit more, obviously. Titan. I haven't heard of a Titan watch before. I have to look that brand up. Well, not a terrible looking watch, though. Not my style, but might be someone's. So that's there. What else have we got? Boss, Hugo Boss, is that ladies Hugo Boss watch? That's probably worth about a fiver in working order at least, maybe a little bit more. So that one's worth putting a battery in, having a look at it. Digital watch here, not sure on that brand there, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, if there's anything worth a few quid, I'll just, on the next video I do, we'll go through it and have a look. Getting to the end of our little pile here. Got a little nurse's watch here. I imagine that's quite a cheapish brand. I'll have to look it up though. A lot of this, I'm, I know certain brands with watches, but then there's always the obscure ones you're never too sure on. Like, for example, I can't even see that Isn't it on the back. Something to begin with M. Can't, not even going to bother try and pronounce it. If I can go over there, uh, Ravel, not really worth anything. That'll go into a junk pile. A Pulsar, ladies' watch, but it's missing its back. Might come across some of the backs when we get to the very bottom of this. What we got here. Oh, is this a ladies' Seiko watch? Is it Seconda again? Let's just wind the hands out the way. Hey, Lady Seiko watch. You get a battery in this and it's working. That's probably a tenner. Happy days. That was a good fun. I should have probably organised it into good ones and bad ones and we could have had a little look at the very end, but hey-ho. Little owl there, kind of cute. Little kid's watch. Identity, the brand. Eh, not really worth anything, I don't think. Another... Weird little ladies watch there. We've got a load of those, so we'll probably have to do a little job lot of those. And sell those on. Non-branded on the front, so not really worth anything. I'll go into a spares and repairs pile, probably. Not sure on that brand. There's nothing on the back, so I'm going to say it's not really worth anything, unfortunately. Uh, nearly at the end. Oh, that's a very cheap... Oh, that's a very cheap strap on that. Is that a Timex? That is a Timex. Oh, it's a wind-up. It is ticking. I don't know. I'll put it near the mic a bit. don't know if you can hear it. That's ticking away. So vintage -y. 
one there. That might be worth putting to one side. So that's Seconda, Lady Seconda there. Some vintage watch. I can't see the name. My eyesight is terrible. I need to stop putting glasses on when I do these videos. Got a brand on the back. No. Oh, we do. Oh, we've got a little something there. It might be worth looking up under the magnifying glass. Put it closer there in case you can see it. Yeah. Also, I don't know if I apologised earlier, but I've got a load of glue on my hands at work. I've tried washing them two or three times. It takes forever to get off. So sorry about that. Another wind-up ladies watch there. Not sure on the brand. It's probably not brilliant, but we'll look it up later. That one there. Another ladies watch there. Pulsar. Might be worth a couple of quid if it's working, if we can get it working. Another ladies watch here, a bit of vintagey, wind up again. Let's see if it works. Give it a little shake, see if it is ticking. I don't know if you can hear it, I'll put it near the probably can't hear it, but yeah. I'll look up that brand as well. Look at that. Another vintage, oh, it's the same sort of one as the other one, Timex. Been overwound. This is, no, it's just been overwound, so non working. Nearly at the bottom of this box now. Looks like we've got a couple of case backs in here. Hopefully, some of the box. Oh, another Lady Seconda there. Some new little bundle of Lady Seconda watches. Half a strap. Oh no, Lady Citizen's watch, that's good. Uh, it's a little bit beaten up, but not too bad. Again, if you can get it working, it's probably a fiver. That's quite good. So it's adding up, and what we've got here is a little, little weird pocket watch. I don't know what the brand is there. It's the camera so you can see it. I can't see that very well though. Yeah. So I think that's the last of our boxes. We've got a few batteries. We've got one of these cheap watches here as well. What's this case back here? Is that for that Seconda watch earlier? It'd be good if it was. Still case back. Free ATM. Stainless. I doubt it is for that watch, unfortunately, but I'll find the one it does go to at some point. So yeah, quite an interesting bundle. We did have some half decent ones. This one here, like I said at the very start, will pay for everything, so that's fantastic. This one here, a couple of quid. This one I need to look up, but it's quite a nice looking one. I'll put the good ones at the front. Oh, why did I mix them all up? Uh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's a genuine diamond one, isn't it? I can look that one up. Uh, what else we got? Got that one. A lot I need to look up in here, which I'll do. And if anything pops out that's really quite fancy, we'll recap in the next video. That one there. If you let me know anything about that, please, if you do know anything about that, let me know in the comments. Be interested to know. No, oh, fake Hublet there. Yeah, we did have some good little ladies' watches, some Secondas, Citizens, Seco, stuff like that, and it all add up. But yeah, we'll do a recap. Well, I'll go through it all. The ones that are worth, you know, at least. A Fiverr, we'll put to one side and we'll recap in the next video, see if they're working, and we'll go from there. But yeah, a bit of fun. I like going through stuff like this. It is a bit of work going through it. I'll stick the telly on in a minute and I'll just do some battery testing, chuck a new battery in, see if that helps it. But we'll go from there with that. 
I also do a little bit of research and see what we got here, what's worth something and what isn't. Tighten one there, it's one I got to look up. But yeah, so first part one, box one, very happy, rarely. I'm just glad it wasn't all really, really cheap watches and there were some okayish brands in there. This one here is going to pay for the whole lot. So we're in profit already, which is happy days. Well, I say profit, it's not profit till you sell it, obviously. But they should sell quite easily. If I price them just below average, put them on auction, hopefully we get a couple of bids and get the money back quite quick. But thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you're interested in part two, let me know in the comments. If you are interested in part two and you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Part two will probably be up in a day or two. And we'll recap this and we'll go through our next box up here. But yeah, thanks again for watching this video. If any of these brands jumped out of you, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Did I waste my 20 pound? Oh, your video's terrible, blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, thanks again for watching this video. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye for now.